no knobs, just switches. Today we're going to be looking at the 23.5 Abacus. Hey guys, welcome back to another demo. And like I said, today we are looking at the Abacus by 23.5. This one is a hard clipping overdrive slash distortion. And like you can see, it doesn't have any knobs. It just has switches. And let me explain how the controls work on this one. You can see you have two rows with a couple of switches here. And this top row controls the gain and this uh, bottom row controls the uh, volume. And um, so if you see here as well, so the value of each switch is going to match the abacus beats. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but let me show you closer. Uh, if you see between the two roads, there are, uh, you know, the abacus beats. So um, like I said, each switch is going to match that value. So the first switch has a value of four. The following two switches have a value of two each. And then the last two switches have a value of one. So, um, like I said, just to give you an example, let's say that you want to have your uh, gain, which is the top row at uh, six. So you can have the um, uh, first switch turn on and then the second switch, which is a two that adds up to six. Um, but the other thing is that uh, you can also select any combination of switches uh, for the game and the volume. So uh, if you want a six, you can also do, um, you know, turn up the two switches that have a value of two and then the last two switches that have a value of one. So two, two, one, one, that equals to six as well. So um, I, I think it's pretty cool. And, and then of course, uh, you know, all the uh the, the values add up to 10 so having all the switches turn up uh, or in the opposition i should say uh it's an equivalent of a pod turn all the way up of course um so that uh, the, the way that i just explained it works for the gain and the volume uh controls which are like i said the uh, top and second row uh, it also has other controls or other switches, like for example, this one right here controls the brightness. Uh, when you have it in the down position, it's a little bit darker. When you have it in the up position, it's brighter and it's more noticeable when you are um, when you have it at a higher gain setting. This one here adjusts the oh, overall uh, gain level. So when you have it in the down position, it's slow, and in the high position, in the up position, is high. And this switch right here controls the clipping. In the up position is silicone, in the middle is uh, LED, and then in the bottom is germanium. And you will get to uh, hear each clipping option um, on the playthrough. Uh, we did a couple of um, you know sounds um, using each uh, clipping option. So you will get to listen to that as well. And I mean, I don't know you guys, but uh, I think the idea uh, you know, with the abacus beats and the switch, uh, the switches, it's brilliant. Um, I was talking with Ismail and I'm like, how do you come up with an idea like that? Like I was so intrigued. So, uh, we reached out to Justin, who's 
the man behind, um, you know, 23.5. And we asked him, he told us his story and, and it's an awesome story. Uh, so, uh, we thought it, you know, it would be awesome if he could share it with you guys. So we're going to have Justin himself tell you the story behind, um, you know, how he come up, how he came up with the abacus and also the, um, circuits that, that inspired this pedal. So one of the big inspirations that I had in designing the abacus pedal came from my youngest son who is on the spectrum for autism and he likes playing with all the parts and pieces of things that I'm building with. And so I started thinking about a toy that I could make him that had switches and buttons and levers and things on there that he could uh, interact with. And so then I started thinking about designing a pedal that I had been working on and seeing if I could come up with a way to control it with just switches. And so that was the beginning stages of how I got to designing the Abacus. Some of the inspiration for this circuit design came from the classic uh, circuits from the 70s that were hard clipping. And looking at the DoD 250 was one of the big inspirations for how this all started. And from there, I basically changed the circuit up, added gain stages to it, buffers, uh, changing the EQ a little bit and uh, redesigning what I thought would be something unique sounding and also a user interface with all the switches that was unique to anything that's really out there right now. Thank you, Justin, so much for sharing uh, the story behind the Abacus. Um, like I said, I think the the Abacus, the idea is just brilliant, something different. So I think it's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to leave the, the link to the 23.5 website on the description below in case you want to, uh, you know, get an abacus or, you know, you want to check out the website. We definitely encourage you to do so. You got to listen to the abacus and the demo jam song at the beginning, like we always do with, you know, some other effects such as delay, reverb. We always leave uh, the pedals that we use below in case you want to um, kind of know what those pedals were. And now we're gonna be uh, doing the playthrough. But before the playthrough, uh, remember to subscribe, share, like our videos, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about the Abacus. Let us know what you th thought when you first saw it and now that we kind of went over it and you got to listen, what you think about the Abacus. Um, I think it will be pretty fun to um, see y'all's comments. And yeah. Um, I know you want to listen to the abacus. That's what you, why you are here. So, um, let's go to the playthrough. Let's do this.